for Korea. The great game is on. Donald Trump confirms he will meet Kim in Singapore. A letter delivered by a senior Kim aide to the White House did the trick, despite the president not even reading it. The ending of the Korean War. Can you believe that we're talking about the ending of the Korean War? You're talking about 70 years. After weeks of manoeuvring, Donald Trump, who Kim once called a dotard, will meet the man he once dismissed as Little Rocket Man in 12 days' time. Trump's agenda, a great future for North Korea and an end to the Korean War, if the nuclear weapons go. Also on News at 10 tonight. You've probably noticed that there's something different about the way you use your Visa credit or debit card. Yes, it might not work. Visa chaos as millions of card payments are rejected. Barely a spark of anger from a disappointed Theresa May on Trump's unjustified trade war. Extraordinary violence on the streets of London. A bike, a car and a zombie knife. And the Scarfell Pike War Memorial, the oldest in England, being restored to its rightful glory. This is ITV News at 10 with Alistair Stewart. Good evening. From insults and threats to the threshold of breakthrough peace talks, it has been a remarkable journey. A simple letter from Kim Jong-un to Donald Trump signalled the countdown to something potentially remarkable. The leader of North Korea will meet the President of the United States in Singapore on June the 12th. Trump didn't even read the letter, but talked of a great future for North Korea and an end to the decades-long war between North and South Korea. It all hinges on Kim dumping his nuclear weapons, for which he in turn will expect the denuclearization of the South. There was no arrival ceremony, not even a handshake to welcome him. But the symbolism was simply immense. A powerful North Korean official striding towards the Oval Office to meet the leader who had threatened Pyongyang with fire and fury. Kim Yong-chul spent nearly two hours with the president, handing over a letter from the supreme leader. The former North Korean spymaster appeared to get on well with Trump. And when they emerged onto the South Lawn, they were still engaged in a long conversation. A remarkable moment for a heavily sanctioned official who comes from a pariah state. Trump then told reporters that the summit with Kim Jong-un is now officially back on. June 12th, we'll be in Singapore. Uh, it'll be a beginning, I don't say, and I've never said it happens in one meeting. You're talking about years of hostility, years of problems, years of really hatred between so many different nations. 